Hey, Katie, thanks. So intermittent waves of rain, uh, the, the wind has not been that bad uh, just yet. It's actually sliding just to our south. So we're here on Jack's Beach. We're at the second Ave uh, access right now. Uh, sand piled up at the foot of the stairs you see right here. We're not going to walk down on that uh, to take you out towards the waves. But as uh, low tide it goes, the water certainly isn't that uh, far out and uh, of course that makes sense what with the wall of water being pushed and you look uh, as best you can even though uh, we're in dawn's early light out towards the uh, the end of the pier just uh, it's been battered by by some very big waves no that's only going to get worse as the day goes on and the story has continued to be the tide all right so higher than normal tides of course that's just been the case uh, just lunar uh, tides astronomically speaking but as we get towards the noon hour and, and specifically one o'clock this afternoon 1252 here at Jacksonville Beach is when we'll have a high tide and that will be kind of the height of everything. Uh, the um, line of showers and storms they, they have been uh, forecasting, they've been watching is, is on radar right now. So we're talking uh, southern Duval, talking central St. John's, coastal St. John's and then moving in through Nocatee, going towards I-95, Fruit Cove, Julianton Creek. You're about to get a good blast of rain, uh, Durban area, even down through 210. So uh, the next 15, 20 minutes or so going to be very, very active. The uh, meteorologists there in uh, the studio with the computers and the radar will show us specifically here coming up. We'll have an eye on Jacksonville Beach. Any erosion, any breaks in the dunes, power outages, anything, we'll bring those to you first. We are on your side, of course, from the beach. Lewis Turner, First Coast News, on your side, back inside to you.